study the information given, given below and answer the questions based on it. There is only one question by the way. What does it say? 15 students enter into the class after A and 20 students enter into the class before B. 8 students enter into the class in between A and B. What is the maximum possible number of students in the class? The keyword here is maximum. What is the maximum possible number of students in the class? Now, how do you crack this? Options are like 25, 45, sorry, 27, 45, 36, 42. It says what? 15 students enter into the class after A and 20 enter into the class before B. See, there are two ways of looking at it, right? Let's say A, B, right? Or B, A. Now, try and understand. 15 students enter into the class after A. After A, 15 entered, right? 20 students entered the class before B. Before B came in, 20 students entered. And between A and B, there were only 8 students. Between A and B, there were only 8 students. You understand? I am going by the sequence. So, A entered the class after A. Right? After A, 15 people went in. B entered the class before B, 20 people had gone into the class. Between A and B, there were 8 people. Right? So, so if you have to plot it, how does it look like? Let's say A, B, between A and B there are 8 people. Now after A, 15 people entered, right? How will you understand this? After A, 15 people entered the class. So who are those 15 guys? 8 persons here between A and B. Ninth person is B, so 8 plus 1, 9. And then 6 more persons till the end of the class. This is the end. You are able to follow? So see, total 15 is the count here. 8 plus 6, 14 and B is one of the persons. Before B, 20 people have gone into the class. So before B, we have got 8 persons here and A is the ninth person. And then 11 more people, let's say. That's the total strength of the class. Now you can understand. After A, there were 15. 8 plus B is the ninth person and 6. 9 plus 6, 15. Before B, there were 20. 8 plus A is the... Uh, ninth person and then 11 people 9 plus 11 20 now what is the total strength here in the class if you if you take it in this fashion 11 8 6 plus a plus b so 11 plus 8 19 19 plus 6 25 25 plus 2 27 that's one way of looking at it but then it is also possible that i mean you swap the positions of a and b that's what we have done here right Swap positions of A and B. Now do it. 15 students entered into class after A. After A, 15 people entered. Before B, 20 students entered into class before B. 20 students entered into class before B. And 8 students entered into class between A and B. Between A and B, 8 people entered into class. And this is a straight calculation. 20 plus 8, 28 plus 15, uh, 43. 43 plus 2, 45. You understand? If I have to do a similar plotting, this is B. This is A. Between A and B, we have got 8 people. After A, we have got 15 people. So, this is the end of the class. Before B, we have got 20 people. And this is the other end of the class. So, 20 plus 8, 28 plus 15, 43 plus B, 44 plus A, 45. 45 is the strength. And since the question is asking us to find out what is the maximum possible number of students in the class, your answer has to be 45 answer has to be 45. If the same question says what is the minimum possible number of students in the class? Well, minimum will not be asked with such questions. They will ask for you, you, you to find out maximum. But then you got to know that there are two possibilities, 27 or 45. Maximum will be 45. In case they ask for minimum, you should go for 27. If they say what is the number which is least possible in such a case, then the answer will be 27. But the correct answer is 45.